Hello, Long Riders. I got a really exciting video I've been dying to make for you. And it is a merger that's a caddis, or it could be other. I use different colors of wings. But this fly had made a long, long journey from New Zealand. A guy from New Zealand gave it to me one day on Penn's Creek. And I kept one of them, and I tie them faithfully. I don't go anywhere without them. So I can't wait to bring you this fly. You gotta tie these mergers up. Different color of deer hair and different colors bodies. But anyway, it's a deadly, deadly merger, and we're gonna get to that for the fly right now. Let's get to the vice. We're gonna start with a size 14 dry fly hook. The Kylon 70 denier black thread. Seems like a pattern here, don't it? You're going to tie in here three to four strands of pheasant tail. And you're going to measure them for tail length. And then you're going to tie a couple thread wraps to tie them in. And then you're going to pull them back because you're going to wrap them up forward later. Okay, now you're going to dub in some of this. It's orangish, brownish. It's got all kinds of colors mixed into it, but it's a UV dubbing. And it's in a witting it's a dubbing box. Ice dubbing box. And you're gonna dub this in. Now you can pull the pheasant tail over the dubbing and tie it down in front of it and cut off the what's left. Now you're going to grab a pair of or a clump of deer hair and then it's going to clean it all out by grabbing it by the tips and make sure all the webbing and everything's out. You don't want to tie in too much bulk here. And you're going to tie it with the tips forward. And just about, I'd say about two lengths of the shank of the hook. Now we're going to tie in a dirty old ginger hackle. I mean, it's a speckled black and it's ginger colored. You can, this is what you can change. You can change the deer hair color to a lighter color or a darker color. You can change the hackle to a lighter color, the body material to a lighter color, represent the sulfur, darker for the Hendrickson's, and you can change all this around. But this is what we're going to use in basically just basic pattern. What we're doing here is running the thread through the hackle. Try not to trap any of the hackle feathers down when you do this. You run the thread through the hackle. This will keep the fly a more solid fly. Run it through, run it up, and then pull back on the deer hair and whip or put on a head. Now you put on a whip finish, and we're not even close to done with this fly yet. Put on a couple whip finishes. Now we're going to trim the hackle underneath the fly that's sticking down. Not because I tied too big of a hackle, unlike some guy suggested in my other video. No, because you want this thing to sit flat on the surface, not sitting up. So you trim these hackles off and this will put it right down in the f on the f uh, water surface and in the foam of the where you want it. 
Now you want to pick up on your deer hair. Try not to clip any of the hack off or any of that or the the pheasant tail. And you want to trim this as close as you can. You just want a little stub of the hair sticking out the back. These are a deadly fly. Time in different colors. Now check out our other tying videos. Here's one just for you. And that's the one you watch next. And there's a playlist if you want to watch them. <coughs> Go back and tie. Check out our other tying videos. Get these all in your box. And keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.